The starting lineup for the visiting Philadelphia 76ers. At small forward, Matisse Tyler. At the other forward position, Tobias Harris. At shooting guard, Tyrese Massey. The other guard position, James Harden. At center, Joel Embiid. The head coach of the visiting team is Doc Rivers. and IQ, a big factor for them. Thanks for that. And here in October, we have a little indication of what may be coming in the East. Taking a look at Philadelphia, still early, but they have the third best record in the conference. And of course, there's the Raptors. They're a ways down in the standings. Checking out Philadelphia, I think they're the team you dread having to play. I mean, they've been performing at just about their best in every game so far this season. We figured that by this point in the season, they would have separated themselves from the pack. They've done that and more. So let's take a look at the starters for the Philadelphia 76ers. Harris and Embiid are playing up front. Maxi out there with James Harden. And it's Stiebel in at the three. And for Toronto, Van Fleet and Trent Jr. team up as the backcourt. Barnes and Siakam serve as the big men as they go small. And it's Ananobi in at the three. And at this early stage of the season, you think teams are still trying to sort out players' roles, Smitty? Maybe a few, B.A. But if you're still trying to figure things out, it could be a long year. That's what the preseason's for. You can't discount Embiid's value as a passer, that vision and court awareness. These are traits a team loves to have in a big man. Trent on the wing. Three-pointer, Van Vliet. Nails it from three. What they want to do. Get him open looks early. Here's Maxi. 14 points his last outing. Outside for Harden. Fires the three. And he can't get that one. Now Toronto takes it the other way. They're coming off that loss against Philadelphia. Yeah, they found some decent looks, but the shots just went falling. <laughs> Sometimes it goes like that. They never really got into a rhythm despite trying a few different things. Sometimes it's just not your night. Pass 
Pass to Embiid. Over Siakam. Embiid's shot is good. Part of what makes Embiid an MVP level talent. The spacing he gives your offense is center with a very good jump shot. Now here's Barnes. Boy, he just disappeared against Philadelphia. They needed him. That 2021 draft class was stacked with talent. You look at a guy like Scotty Barnes. He went fourth overall. A player any team would love to have. Scotty Barnes taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. You know what sticks out with Barnes is his versatility on both ends of the court. B.A., let's talk about the defensive end. He is disruptive. He has a 7-3 wingspan, and he can guard 1 through 5. Offensively, he can handle, pass, and score. The sky is the limit for Scotty Barnes, B.A. No good on the second free throw. The future that Scotty Barnes has in this league is bright. A versatile swingman with an outstanding work ethic. And even from where we're sitting, you can clearly tell it was a foul. And the improvement of Tyrese Maxey's three-point shot from his first season to second year, just unprecedented. He improved by over 12% with a huge increase in attempts as well. Throws good for Maxi, and for a player with the speed and quickness of Maxi, Grant leveling up that three-point shot changes everything for him. Oh, so true, B.A. It becomes pick your poison with them, and it put him in a conversation last year for most improved player. Both free throws good from Maxi. Money from the strike. He does a great job night in and night out. Barnes knocked away Trent the pass to Barnes here's the three and again Toronto no good the 76ers have gone two of three from the floor Bible with it pass to Embiid and Embiid gets the double team here's Harris Siakam pulls down the board. I'll tell you what, I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. And here's Barnes. Maxi covering. Bible with it. And it's Ananobi picking him up. Let's it go from 14. And he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. Just another shot in his arsenal. Tobias with the mid-range jumper. Out to the wing. Here's Siakam. Philadelphia grabs the miss. They put up a nice win against Toronto last time out. We love what they did out there. Just good basketball resulting in a runaway. We've got a piece of it. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Trent. in the first quarter about three minutes played Harris passes to Maxi. just five on the clock Harden from outside the shot off that time and it's Toronto taking it the other way outside Barnes hook loose Stiebel with a steal Harris against Van Vliet and so it looks like it'll be Philadelphia ball. Showing signs of being a high-level defender. Ananobi can guard multiple positions and challenge shots. Here's Maxi to the middle. Here's Harris. The will is there, but the execution is lagging. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. Lead against Embiid. Here's the teardrop. Two shots, two makes. Off 
off to a good start. Built to take as much punishment as you want to dish out. Fred Van Vliet not phased by his physical deep. Maxi with it. Siakam covering. And he'll throw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. You know, in the past several seasons, there's been one constant with the 76ers. They're going to be among the best defensive teams in the league. The Sixers identity really does center around their defense. It's so true, VA, and they've done a great job playing to their strengths. That's the key for any contending team. Maximize your players' talents. Philly has done that as well as anybody. First free throw is good. on the second so he makes them both and guys so many great players coming out of Canada the Raptors have converted a nation not just watching basketball but to playing it as well now here's Barnes the baseline Jay that shot is off so Philadelphia will take it the other way Harden the pass to Maxi. to Embiid. Back to Maxi. Embiid, the screen on Trent. Four on the clock. Maxi. 18 feet out. That's good. From Embiid. On the assist from Maxi. Embiid's got his second bucket. And Grant, you think back to those early Raptors jerseys with the big dinosaur. They admit it was aimed at the kids. Yeah, of course. I mean, rather than win over the older hockey fans, they went after the younger generation. And now they're all grown up and packing the seats. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for Philadelphia? Tonight, early on, this team is saying, forget the analytics. Let's take mid-range shots. They can be easy points. Yeah, also, you got to appreciate how unselfish they've been. I mean, the ball movement has been impressive, and the assist numbers are off the chart. And what impresses you about Pascal Siakam is his tremendous length with an intimidating 7-3 wingspan. Siakam hits them both. And that length of Siakam really comes in handy on both ends, Smitty. B.A., he's tough to guard because he's able to get his shots up over most guys due to that length. And then on the defensive end, capable of guarding the post and the perimeter. Now here's Harden. He picked up 21 points in their last win against the Raptors in Toronto. And it wasn't just the points. He brought hustle. He brought energy. And he brought it on the glass. Well, Embiid's accuracy is so impressive, especially for a big. He can really hurt you from the arc. Dival against Hananobi. Pass to Siakam. Shoots over Embiid. And Embiid with the block. Out to Harris. Able to get that one. Ooh, excellent D there from Barnes. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got four rebounds now. Pass to Harden. And here's Harris. Embiid is screen on Barnes. Harris passes to Embiid. Embiid drawing the double team. And here's Harris outside. Another three for Philadelphia. Beautiful catch and shoot. Look at the pass right on time. And Tobias, he knocks it down. Van Vliet on the wing. Defended by Harden. Van Vliet misses. The Sixers leading. Pass to Harden. 
Embiid, a screen on Ananobi. Harden's shot is good. They're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. And the Raptors call time here. Chua's checked in for Pascal Siakam. Boucher comes in for Scotty Barnes. And it's Porter Jr. in for Ananobi. And a new group getting ready for the Sixers. Tucker's checked in for Tobias Harris. Niang comes in for Thibel. Melton, he's checked in for Maxi. And Milton subbed in for James Harden. Seventy Sixers on D. Eleven point game. Lead against Milton. Trent outside to halt the run. Six to shoot. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Embiid's got six rebounds now in the game. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Embiid drawing the double team. The three is up. And the 76ers another and the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Milton against Van Vliet. Tread outside. Boucher against Tucker. Boucher passes to Achua. The shot no good. Excellent D there from Embiid. Tucker finds Melton. Here's Embiid from the arc. The shot that time not on target. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Trent against Melton. Trent, the pass to Van Vliet. And again, Toronto, no good. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Pass to Tucker. Melton outside. Embiid with it. Achua defending. Back to Melton. From behind the arc. Yes, and it's Embiid picking up the assist. Embiid's got his fourth assist in this one. Toronto's gone one of four from deep. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Time called here. The Raptors decide to talk it over.
Van Vliet outside. Over Milton. Van Vliet misses. And they've come out with a fearless approach on the boards. The Raptors are taking a patient approach. They understand to get back to a championship level, they've got to grow from within. Embiid. Again, the Sixers score. He's given a great lift to this offense tonight. Very, very efficient. Now here's Van Vliet. Coming off a 34-point game against Philadelphia. To stop the drought. Oh, it's stolen by Tucker. On the wing, Milton covered by Boucher. Boucher against Milton. Pass to Milton. Let's go with a three. Another three for Philadelphia. And despite setting their sights on the future, Smitty, last season the Raptors still claimed the fifth seed in the East. Exceeding expectations, that's what they do. And with their great player development program, they have every reason to believe they'll continue to improve. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in, coming off that pick. A minute 39 left in the first quarter. Melton passes to Tucker. Embiid against Trent. And there's the foul. It's on Chris Boucher. That's his, That's his first, first foul of the game. 13 foul. Come get it, come get it. Outside Milton. And here's another one for the Sixers. They've been very effective so far. A balanced attack at its best. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. Pass to Van Vliet. Boucher is screen on Milton. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. They get it back. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Chris Boucher understands angles, which makes him a real threat on the offensive glass. The kick out to Milton. 46 seconds left in the first. Over Van Vliet. Milton, no good. Toronto has gone one for five from three-point range. A cold start. Let's it go from 14. And Van Vliet again missing. Easy chance from mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. Pass to Niang. Melton with the ball. Screen by Embiid. Melton passes to Embiid. Achua with a rebound. Now Van Vliet. He has seven. For three. And no good. Trying to get it out of the And that's it for the first quarter in what has been a very lopsided game. The Sixers on top, just dominating this one. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter. been neck and neck but plenty of time left in this one a comfortable margin for the 76ers here guys just excellent first quarter defense they've been really getting after it. yeah they were very physical and very aggressive they've just been the better team so far and for the Raptors they're shooting poorly at only 28 percent so on the floor for Philadelphia to kick off the second quarter Tobias Harris out there with P.J. Tucker then it's James Harden then it's Montrez Harrell, and it's Maxi in at the two. Now here's Porter. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Shot clock at two. Puts up a three. That won't go. Misses his first shot of the game. Philadelphia's gone five of eight from outside the three-point line on this one. Porter against Maxi. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. 
Birch, he's checked in for Achua. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Thibel, he's checked in for Tucker. Well, whenever you bring up the 76ers, you instantly think of Joel Embiid. Oh, no question. He's the face of this franchise. Embiid is as good as anyone in the league. Off the floor, Joel is willing to take the blame when things don't go right. That's who you want as a leader. Now here's Siakam. Here's Van Vliet. It's good. And give the assist to Siakam. Van Vliet's got nine points. Improving as a passer, Siakam showing a willingness to get it to open teammates. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, guys, Pascal Siakam's play had dipped for a while after he got the big bag. He said, it was like, you got the max contract, but are you the guy? That's something I really struggled with. But there's still another level that I can get to, and I see myself as an all-star, and there's a lot more to unleash. Brian? Yeah, just now entering his prime, Allie. Thank you. So it's Toronto now, following the score by Philadelphia. Siakam outside. Pass to Porter. Shot clock at six. The Raptors need to get off a shot. Tries from six feet. And scoring with a play inside is Birch. Birch has got his first two points of the night. The team really depends on Porter. He's a key part of their high-level offense. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Maxi passes to Harden. Step back and fire. And here's another one for the Sixers. Few guards in the league can carve out space on the interior the way Harden does. The Raptors have got two of three shots to go in the second. Harden against Van Vliet. Siakam outside. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And now it seems Siakam is in his prime. How do you see his place in the league, Grant? Well, I really like him, but he seems to be an elite second option. I'm not sure if you want to build an entire offense around him, but certainly has proven to be an important a piece a to a, a championship level Two team. Shots. And he drops the first. And when you're trying to slow down a top scorer, often the game plan is to get physical. Grant, you would know better than anybody. What's it like in the trenches here? Well, B.A., it's interesting. I mean, it can wear on you. It's a mental challenge. When you're in the trenches trying to slow down a great offensive player, it really becomes a battle of wills. You have to stay focused. You have to be disciplined. And most importantly, you just cannot take a playoff and allow a great player to get going. And Smitty, the Toronto Raptors, the lone Canadian team in the NBA, they take great pride in that. Since the Grizzlies relocated to Memphis in 2001, Canada has belonged to the Raptors. B.A., you can tell they take pride in this. They don't just represent the city of Toronto, but the entire country. Here's Van Vliet. After the Sixers picked up a basket a moment ago. Count it. He's able to do this because of the added strength. Porter muscling it home. Side Harden. Carroll up top. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. He'll pin that one on Pascal Siakam. Second team foul. Shooting for Philadelphia. Montrez Harrell. Two shots. First one falls. Every coach would appreciate having Montrez Harrell on their roster. Plays unselfish, does the dirty work, and gives his team an edge. Barnes, he's checked in for Toronto. And he makes both free throws. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. Here's Siakam. Pass to 
Birch. Back to Siakam. There's a screen by Birch. Siakam, pass to Birch. Well, when you look at the wing position, how do you feel it's evolved since you played, Smitty? Well, they've been asked to do more, B.A., especially on the defensive end. Mostly wings now are asked to guard one through five with teams switching a lot. And also, a lot of these wing guys are asked to run the offense. Shooting two. No good on the free throw. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Pass to Maxi. And the call will be against Fred Van Vliet. That's his first foul of the game. And there's just one foul now away from the middle. Here's Harden, guarded by Van Vliet. Harden against Van Vliet. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And Harden, the former league MVP, three-time scoring champ. Grant, the only thing he's missing is a title. Yeah, B.A., I mean, it would only help cement his legacy. For years, he'd carry his team only to run out of gas in the playoffs. But postseason success counts for a lot when it's all said and done. And the first one at the line is good. I'll tell you what, a lot can be said about the contract Harden took to stay in Philly. He took less than what he commanded to help the team sign depth and rotation players. A very big gesture from Harden, showing just how much he wants to win in Philly. Jackson, he's checked in for Toronto. Flynn comes in for Fred Van Vliet. And so he's able to get one of two. A nightly triple-double threat. Harden's level of creativity and incredible confidence makes him lethal. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Outside Barnes. To the paint. Here's Flynn. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Outside Tybal. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's his first personal foul. 15 foul. At the line for the 76ers, Matisse Tyler taking two shots. That one misses. The 76ers making a switch here. Korkmaz is checked in. And the second free throw is good. For Toronto, they've gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Here's Glenn. And there is a whistle. That goes on Tobias Harris. That's his fourth foul of the contest. They're having a hard time with fouls. It's still early, but one more and they'll be over the limit. Tucker's checked in for Philadelphia. Pass to Flynn. 
Robertson on the wing. Here's Flynn, defended by Harden. Kicks it out to Barnes. Takes the three. Hit ball. He's now two of five from the field. Doesn't take many. Scotty Barnes, money on that three. Right side, Harden. Pass to Korkmaz. The three ball. And another miss by Philadelphia. Toronto's gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. And here's Jackson. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Birch with a screen on Tucker. Barnes passes to Birch. And so he draws the foul and into the line to shoot a pair. It's going to go on Montrez Harrell. Well, that was clearly a foul. At the line for your Raptors, Ken Birch. At the line for two. Shooting two. No good on that one. And the Raptors with some changes. Gary Trent Jr., he's checked in for Jackson. And it's Ben in for Flynn. And he's good on the second. For Philadelphia, they've gone four for seven in the second quarter. Outside Tybal. Five to shoot. To the wing on the left. Harrell finds Tucker. Now here's Harden. There's the triple. Toronto grabs the miss. Barnes has got four rebounds now. Pass to Ben. Outside Ananobi. And here's Barnes. Now Birch. And Birch slams it in. Look at PA. When he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. Here's Korkmaz. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Gets the three ball to go. I love the confidence he's shooting with. Big improvement here in the second period. Tread outside. Pass to Ben. Birch with a screen on Harden. To the inside. And the basket by Birch. Birch has got seven. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Outside Harden. It's stolen by Birch. Barnes in the post. Five points in the game. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. It was a rough start for them scoring the ball, but they look like now they're really finding their rhythm and flow. And he lobs it up top. And Carroll with the strong finish. If you start the alley-oop, Harold can usually finish it. He's an explosive big man with good hands. Trent with it. Pass to Birch. Back to Trent. Takes a three. And the Raptors, another three. They've got some ground to make up. And shooting the three ball more consistently, like they are now, should help them do it. Outside Harden. Out of bounds, it'll be Raptors ball. And the Raptors with some changes. Machua's checked in for Birch. Boucher comes in for Ananobi. And Fred Van Vliet is subbed in for Banton. Oh, 
Milton against Van Vliet. Inside, here's Trent. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Trent's got five points in the quarter. I'm so impressed with the strength of Gary Trent Jr. Excellent at stand in control of his shot. Here's Melton. And it's Toronto with a rebound. They host the Hawks after this one. That'll be the end of a three-game homestand. Here's Barnes. The rebound by Melton. Philadelphia's gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. Pass to Milton. The three. Korkmaz, good. Korkmaz has got himself on the board with a three there. You just can't afford to leave open shooters in this league. Everyone is practicing the three. Boucher on the screen. Here's Barnes. Three-pointer. Boucher, no good. The 76ers have gotten seven of 13 attempts to go here in the second. Melton outside. Floats one up. That shot, no good. Trent with the defensive effort. And he's going for the oop here. Achua with the dunk. You can't teach court awareness. Barnes understands when his guys are uncovered. Milton against Van Vliet. Pass to Nier. Let's the three fly. And the 76ers another three. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Brian Sixers head coach Doc Rivers earned the nickname Doc back in college for wearing a t-shirt with Julius Irving on it. In the NBA, he said, quote, the first game I started was against the Sixers. I went over and said, Dr. J, how are you? And he said, Doc, how are you? I said, no, no, I'm Glenn. But he said, no, you're Doc. And that made me feel like a million bucks. Guys? All right, thanks, Allie. Now here's Tucker. Outside Milton. Here's the pick. Clock at six. No good off the back of the rim. Toronto's got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. A 2020 first-round pick. Precious Achua was traded before his second year in the league. You know what's interesting, B.A., going from Miami to Toronto in the Kyle Lowry deal. It's rare to trade a guy after his rookie year, but Precious, he had a great second year. Now here's Tucker. Fires from the line. Melton, no good. Now here's Trent. Boucher outside. Trent finds Van Vliet. Van Vliet missing again. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Pass to Korkmaz. Trent against Melton. Tucker the pass to Milton. Achua with the rebound. Achua's got four rebounds now. Now Van Vliet covered by Milton. Now Van Vliet back to Barnes. Beyond the arc. James Harden. He's been the guy making things happen for the 76ers. He put together 10 points in the quarter. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. I'm here with Nick Nurse. And, Coach, I saw you imploring your team to pick it up. Where do you need to be better in the second half? Well, we're not very good uh, offensively right now. I think we're taking some okay shots. But we got to be a little bit more patient and keep moving it around a little bit. Need multiple paint touches rather than just one. So we just got to do a little bit better job of getting off and relocating a little bit. Patience is a virtue. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter. Welcome, everybody. This game revealing a big disparity in play. What a performance so far for the Philadelphia 76ers. Coach has to be loving the all-around production. Each guy carrying his weight. That's a luxury to have, and it's fun to watch. Yeah, total team effort tonight. Okay, time now to see how the Eastern Conference is starting to shape up. 
A look here now at the 76ers. They've been incredible out the gates. You could see this coming. We talked about this, and the way they prepared for the season was tremendous. Thanks to join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. On the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Nice game. What a performance by James Harden. The numbers say it all. He spent the first half playing efficient ball. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. Trent Jr. and Ananobi out on the wings. Barnes and Siakam serve as the big men as they go small. And it's Van Vliet get at the point. That's the group for Nick Nurse getting going here in the second half. Barnes, no good. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Outside Harden. Pass to Embiid. Here's Thibel. Here's Niang. From outside the arc. That one no good. And here are the Raptors now. Trailing by 17. Adenobi passes to Van Vliet. Second half rolling along, about a minute played here. The three is up. Oh my, came close to a four point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. He's always pressing the action. Van Vliet just never backs down, makes him hard to contain. Van Vliet, three shots. off on the first. It's rare for an undrafted player to make an impact, but Fred Van Vliet has earned his spot in the league. The sixth man on a title team back in 2019 and he's become an all-star. The 76ers making a switch here. Harris is checked in. He's off on the second. Well, Smitty Van Vliet's become an all-star. Is he the best undrafted player in the NBA, you think? Well, B.A., Ben Wallace is the standard. A multiple-time Defensive Player of the Year winner. Champions like Bruce Bourne and Udonis Haslam, they're right up there. But Fred Van Vliet has a chance, when it's all said and done, to be the best. And when you look at Van Vliet on the floor, you would think he gets targeted on defense. But for a player his size, he more than holds his own. And he banks in the layup. Maxie's got 11 points. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. Now here's Van Vliet. He's got 13. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. And Van Vliet, a very solid defender at his position, Grant. Not great length, but strong as any B.A. I mean, he has great hands to bother the ball handler and great defensive oh, IQ that makes the most of his athleticism. Like a matador, Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Embiid with a steal. Harris with it, and it's out of Obi picking him up. Harris passes to Maxi. Embiid is screen on Trent. Now here's Embiid. Wide open look. Misses off the left iron. It can be a little disheartening when you do everything right and come away with nothing. Barnes, and he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. The defenders haven't figured out Scotty Barnes yet. At the line for your Raptors, Scotty Barnes taking two shots. That free throw, no good. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Philadelphia. He 
hits the second from the line. The 76ers have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Embiid, a screen on Trent. Backseat passes to Embiid. Over Siakam. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. Outside Ananobi. And here's Siakam. Pass to Barnes. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Ooh, they've come out ice cold to start this half. Three misses and as many attempts. And I love how Harden makes scoring look effortless. Filling it up in such a hurry. And Toronto calls time here. Porter Jr., he's checked in for Toronto. have gone 0 for 3 to start the second half. Pass to Siakam. Van Vliet against Harden. Van Vliet, the pass to Porter. Back to Van Vliet from deep. The shot comes out. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. They just don't have it right now. 0 for 4. Must have been one poor speech at halftime. Outside Maxi Launches a 3. Here's Embiid, and Embiid throws it down. That gives him a double-double in this one. A sequence you might expect from Embiid, an elite rebounder, and the man knows how to finish. Pass to Siakam. Back to Van Vliet. It's good, and give the assist to Siakam. Van Vliet's got 15 points. Finally, now one for five here in the third. We'll see if that boosts their confidence. Maxi passes to Embiid. Now here's Harden, guarded by Van Vliet. They get the rebound. Here's Embiid. Goes up again. Then he takes it up and lays it in. Embiid's got four points now in the quarter. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. Harden against Van Vliet. Shoots over Harden. And Van Vliet again missing. The 76ers have gone 5 of 11 in this third quarter. Harden against Van Vliet. Pass to Embiid. Up and over Porter. It's stolen by Trent. Down low. That's good from Van Vliet. And the assist from Trent. 17 points in the game. Gary Trent Jr., his teammate, was so open. 
he could have passed it with his eyes closed. That was another look at our Mobile One Drive of the Game just a moment ago. Yeah, he has that fight in him. Love the aggression at the rim when they are trying to claw back into the game. He's been of no help stretching the floor tonight. Just one three in the first half, nothing in the second. Van Vliet against Harden. Van Vliet, the pass to Siakam. Nails the baby hook. They've now had assists on each of their last three buckets. Philadelphia has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Out left to the wing. Fades away. Embiid can't hit. The Raptors have gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. Maxi against Ananobi. Now here's Van Vliet. He's covered closely. Shot clock at five. Here's Trent. That shot missing. Good work defensively by Thibel. Maxi against Van Vliet. Back to Maxi. Harrell, a screen on Van Vliet. Takes one from 10 feet. Maxi, that's good. Maxi's got 13 now. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. And Toronto calls time here. Chua comes in for Pascal Siakam. And Boucher subbed in for Ananobi. Passes to Porter. Trent with it. Outside Porter. Pass to Achua. Here's Van Vliet. Six on the shot clock. And the Raptors miss again. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Here's Korkmaz. Guarded by Van Vliet. Now Tucker. To the paint. Releases. And Harrell with the basket on the assist from Maxi. Harrell's got six points. And this is Harrell's game. A skilled interior player who plays with tenacity. Pass to Trent. The 11-footer. Here's Boucher for three. And again, no good by Toronto. The 76ers have gotten 7 of 15 shots to hit in the second half. Porter against Maxi. Inside. Melton passes to Harold. For three, Maxi. 
And it's Boucher with the rebound. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Pass to Van Vliet. Achua with a screen on Melton. And here's Achua. Porter with it. Van Vliet outside. This one for three. Rebound by the 76ers. Not in rhythm. He had the two triples in the first half. None so far in the second. Melton with the ball. Six points for him. For three, Maxi, And that one goes. He's now recorded his fifth bucket in eight tries. Scoring well this quarter. Picking up steam as he goes. Van Vliet against Melton. Van Vliet, the pass to Trent. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Seven points in the game. For a shooter as confident as Gary Trent Jr., there's no hesitation. And when you watch the way Trent Jr. can take over a game, just a gifted scorer who can explode once he gets going, he's impossible to slow down. Hey, when in doubt, run the defender off the screen. And you know, with a result like that, we'll see them run it again. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. You have to switch on that play. And the basket by Van Vliet. And the Trent Jr., he very much is a microwave scorer, Grant. Oh, he heats up in an instant, B.A. A bit of a shaky shooter overall. I would like to see him round out his inside game to find new ways to score if his shot isn't there. And Philadelphia calls time here. making a change here. Barnes is checked in. Lead against Milton. Outside Tucker. Fires the three. Sinks it from distance. Tucker's got six. Defense has to be careful with Tucker from range. He's got reliable accuracy. Outside Barnes. We've got 155 left in the third quarter. Fires from deep, and it's Porter. That time on the assist by Barnes. He's got five. Big time answer. Porter unwilling to give an inch. Knocks down a three of his own. Harris against Boucher. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his second personal foul. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. It's just a passing clinic from them in this game. Solid communication and unselfish play all around. Two. We also got to highlight how on fire they've been from three-point land. They've continued to capitalize from beyond the arc in this one. 
First one falls for him. Slowly but surely, Harris continues to elevate his game. The shooting, the playmaking, the ability to make a difference. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Niang. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Toronto has gone one of four here in the third from range. Porter, the pass to Achua. Here's Porter. There's the three. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Embiid's got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. To the middle. Melton outside. 4-3. Yes, and it's Embiid picking up the assist. Embiid's got assist number five here tonight. Now here's Barnes. Give him eight. To the inside. Boucher. Can't get it to fall. Philadelphia has gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. There's 38 seconds left in the third. Tucker, the pass to Melton. Just five to shoot. Up and over Porter. Melton misses. The Raptors shooting 35% in the third quarter. Pass to Van Vliet. We've got 13 seconds left in the third. Back to Barnes. Over Harris. Barnes, it's good. Barnes has got 10. A tremendous finisher in close. Scotty Barnes is physical and he's explosive. He got it off in time. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer beater. Makes his selection just in time. Well done. What I love, there was no panic on his part. That's the steady pulse you want in that situation. And as we conclude the third, pretty much a blowout here. It's been a one-sided affair. Sixers ahead, running away with this one. And we're just moments away from the start of quarter number four. Stay with us. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Creating plays for others. It's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. On the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth. We've got Daniel House, Shake Milton out there with Furkan Korkmaz. Then there's Tobias Harris, and it's Reed in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Here's House. Up and in on the layup. This is basketball one-on-one. -on -one. This is the size mismatch you look to create. Pass to Young. Driving to the basket. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. Niang, he's checked in for Tobias Harris. Man, how about the career? Patty Young has had Smitty. B.A., you love to have those veterans that do a great job passing out all that wisdom. And B.A., Thaddeus has a lot left on the floor. That one's off. You know, for team owners, it often seems best not to take too active a role in basketball decisions. But, Grant, you're a team owner. How do you feel about this? Well, it's a tough situation, B.A. Many of these owners have made tremendous amounts of money building their fortunes, of course, being very hands-on with their business. But basketball is a different kind of business. Success is not always linear. And sometimes, as an owner, you're not an expert when it comes to this particular business. So it's interesting, kind of being engaged, but not being too hands-on and letting your people do their job to the best that they can. Now here's Jackson. Pass to Flynn. There's a screen by Birch. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Sixers.
And Philadelphia has possession. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Here's Korkmaz. Five on the clock. Pass to House. Shoots over Jackson. No luck on that one. Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for, but it's a fairly clean look. Almost have to take it. Here's Flynn. Young with a screen on Milton. Flynn on the attack. And it's Niang with the rebound. Niang's got five rebounds tonight. And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. Pass to Korkmaz. Tries a 10-footer, and that one's long. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. Back to Flynn. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That is first. It goes on Shake Milton. And attention has been given to the interactions between fans and the players. Smitty, sometimes it feels more chippy than in years past. I totally agree, B.A., and I think what happens is fan interaction is getting way out of hand. They have to understand it's just a game. It's getting too personal. He misses the free throw. Good on the second one. For Philadelphia, they've gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Pass to Milton. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep. The rebound by Jackson. We've seen him make that shot, but not all that often. It's the kind of shot that gives Hero Ball a bad name and causes your coach to consider another line of work. Outside Milton. Pass to Korkmaz. To the paint. Here's House. And he goes in for the dunk. Nice job. Those passes have to be right on the money around the painted area. House has gone two of three from the floor. Here's Ben. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Here's Korkmaz. The rebound by Jackson. I'm not sure the defense affected that shot. That was just a blown gimme. And Grant, you played on a Suns team whose training staff was renowned. Is that still a differentiator between teams, or has everybody caught up and on the same level now? You know, B.A., I think everyone's caught up. You know, 15 years ago, the Suns training staff was ahead of their time. But now teams are all much more sophisticated. They understand injury prevention, rest, recovery, really aiding the players, and I think adding years for players in the back end of their careers. Milton attacking, and he gets the bucket. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Here's Benton. Up top, Young. Jackson on the wing. The three-pointer off the mark. The 76ers have gotten just three of nine shots to go in, struggling this fourth quarter. Pass to Reed. Here's Korkmaz. 
Here's Reed over Birch. Second chance effort. And the layup is up and in. Coming out of the half, making a commitment to the offensive boards has proven successful. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Screen by Young. And Young slams it in. A little undersized at the four, but he can get off the ground. Outside Milton. Pass to Cork Moss. Deflects the pass. And a fast break now for the Raptors. Here's Flynn. Well, Grant, the NBA has led the way when it comes to diversity and representation in the high-level jobs. Grant, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, B.A., I love this. I mean, the NBA really, truly has been a leader when it comes to this. Whether it's coaches, front office, in the, the league office in New York, living and embodying the spirit of diversity and inclusion is what the NBA is all about. It's fun to be a part of. The NBA, where everyone is welcome. So it's Philadelphia now. The Raptors making their last shot. Cork Maz, no good. It's amazing. All night, he's been out of sync on the offensive end. Yet, they continue to lead. Here's Benton. Outside Young. Clock at six. They puts up a three. Benton can't get it to go. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Here's Cork Maz. Outside Milton. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Pascal Siakam, he's checked in for Toronto. Porter Jr. comes in for Jackson. Two shots. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. And the 76ers with some changes. Harrell comes in for Reed. And it's Melton in for House. Both shots good from the strike. At Grant, as NBA players start to have more of a platform, we still hear those who say, shut up and dribble. What are your thoughts about this? I think it's silly and it's unfortunate. And if you don't like it, then change the channel. But players today, matter of fact, everybody today has a voice through their social media channels. And it just so happens that NBA players have large platforms that reach people all over the world. Yeah, don't expect the players to be anything other than themselves. They get it back. And there's the call on Kim Birch. That'll be a second foul of the game. It's just a bad foul. Gotta be smarter than this. Van Fleet's checked in for Ben. Now here's Milton. Not a lot of room. An easy two on the layup. Milton's got six in the quarter. Simple. The closer you are to the hoop, the better your chance to score. Van Fleet against Melton. And stolen by Melton. Pass to Niang. Here's Melton. Now Melton. Harrell, a screen on Van Vliet. Shot clock at six. Next up! Melton passes to Harrell. Yep, that one goes. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. All right, time for an injury report. Thanks, I got a status report from Toronto's head athletic trainer. And he was relieved that the shoulder's only bruised. Looks like he avoided what could have been a very serious injury. And you can't overstate that. They're losing a big puzzle piece here. This is a hole they might struggle to fill in the games ahead. Guys? All right, Allie, good stuff there. Always on top of it. Yeah, I mean, it's just crazy. Even with the advancements in strength training, 
injuries continue to impact the game. And we're seeing that across all sports. Guys are just getting bigger, faster. The human body can take only so much. Here's Melton. The Raptors making their last shot. Melton, no good. And here's the pass break. Three-pointer, Van Vliet. Three-pointer. He can't get that one to fall. And it's Philadelphia the other way. And here's Melton. Pass to Nier on the wing. Milton. Here's Korkmaz. Harrell with it. Melton outside. Yes! And it's Harrell with the assist. Coach is loving the ball. Well, the Raptors shooting only 36% since the fourth quarter started. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Flynn makes a fantastic move and nails the shot. There's always been a level of savvy to Porter's game. Beautiful pass. Pass to Harold. Two minutes remaining. Regulation time. Outside Milton. Back to Harold. Stolen by Siakam. With the drive. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. He's playing with great activity. Pascal Siakam has become so proficient off the bounce. At the line for your Raptors. Pascal Siakam taking two shots. And he knocks down the first one. One thing I know players are happy about, the number of back-to-back -back games is way down from just a few years ago, Smitty. Yes, indeed, B.A. About a decade ago, about a quarter of a team's games were part of a back-to-back. -back. Now it's only about 15%. That's a change everyone likes, players, coaches, and broadcasters. I think what you love about Pascal Siakam, he never stops working on his game, and he's self-motivated. Outside Milton. Milton outside. Just five to shoot. Puts it up from 12. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. Toronto shooting about 41%. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the 76ers. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, VA, just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, I can't imagine it'll be any different. And it's a performance that will signify their fifth win of the year. But they've got two more chances to get some revenge. The matchup doesn't favor them, but against a conference opponent, they're going to battle hard. And we've come to expect these kinds of strong games for Joel Embiid. He played with a lot of fire, a lot of heart, especially on the glass. He's one of those guys who acts like every rebound is his, and many of them were tonight. That free throw misses. Hey, we've heard a lot of coaches say, including Warriors coach Steve Kerr, about load management. If you want to see the Stars play more often, cut the schedule back. Maybe 72 games. Grant, your thoughts? You know, B.A., this is a problem and a concern, I think, for the league. You go back 20, 30 years ago, stars played every night when available. Now you're not seeing that with the workload and the back-to-back -back and the concern with players and their safety and the amounts of money they make over their contracts. 72 games is a possibility, but I prefer to keep it at 82. Maybe I'm just a traditionalist. Now here's Porter. Pass to Birch. Siakam in the post. Harold defending. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Using that length to attack inside. Siakam is a major challenge for any defender to stop. At the line for your Raptors. Pascal Siakam. At the line for two.
Patty makes the first. Siakam hits them both. There's 45 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Van Vliet against Milton. And he lobs it up to the rim. And the layup is good off the glass. Excellent effort on the road. They've literally sucked the energy out of this arena. And when you're on the road, you can't be tentative coming into a game like this. I thought their aggressive approach was the difference. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Melton outside. Pass to Milton. Harrell, a screen on Van Vliet. Here's Milton. Here's Harrell. See Occam with a defensive effort. Now here's Trent. So no problem for Philadelphia as they get the win. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge and they earned this dub. All right, let's send it down to Allie LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Joel, tonight was a statement win. What is it that people should know about this team? You know, we're tough, uh, especially defensively. That's our motto. We want to guard. We want to get stops. And I think we did that pretty well uh, tonight. But, you know, we we all, uh, we're learning every day. And we're going to be, we're going to be really good. The more reps, the better, and a lot to look forward to in the future. Thanks, Joel. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. So for Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson, thanking everyone for watching tonight's game. And as we leave, we give you our New Balance Player of the Game, Joel Embiid.